Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Leah and I'm a member of the youth group at Mainland Baptist Church. Today's scripture reading begins in Acts chapter 1 verses 1 through 3. The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all you do for us. Thank you for just being there for us. Thank you for providing so much for us, God. Thank you for always doing everything you can for us, God. I pray that you would just be with my heart. I pray that you would just prepare it. I pray that you would just allow whatever I need to get from this devotion. I pray that you would just, you know, let me to understand it. And I pray that you would just allow me to get and take away so many things from this. I pray that you would be the person who is watching this right now. I pray that you would just prepare their hearts and allow them to get what they need from this devotion. I pray that you would give them a wisdom. I pray that you would give them a clarity. I pray that you would just give them a peace in any circumstance or any problem that they may be dealing with or in. God, I pray that you would just be with them. I pray that you would just provide for them. And I pray that you would just allow them to seek you first. And thank you for giving me the opportunity and the ability to give this devotion out today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today's devotion is entitled, An Unfinished Work. Though Jesus only lived for about 33 years in this world, he spent that time wisely. He lived obediently, fulfilling the mission that God had set for him. The night before he went to the cross, Jesus prayed, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. John 17:4. The next day on the cross, Jesus declared again the completion of God's mission. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. John 19.30 Yet, when Luke begins the book of Acts, inspired by the Holy Spirit, he describes the gospel which bears his name as a record of what Jesus began to do. That certainly implies a work which is not yet finished. We must understand that while Jesus did complete all of his own responsibilities and assignments, that was only the start of God's plan. Today, it is our turn to take up his mission, to carry on the work of reaching others with the good news. Jesus set the pattern for us to spend our days in obedience to God and in full commitment to his work in the world. He intends for us to keep doing the same works that he did for as long as we live. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. John fourteen twelve. Today's growth principle is we are God's plan to do his work and reach those around us with his good news. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all you do for us. Thank you for just allowing me to do this devotion, God. I pray that you would just help us to, you know, pursue your plan. Help us to understand what your plan is and to do what's right, God. I pray that you would just help us to carry on your plan and to reach others with the gospel. I pray that you would be with the viewer today. I pray that you would just allow them to have a good rest of their day and to seek you first. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I hope to see you tomorrow on Renew. Have a good day.